Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Deanne Coffin. Matt Davenport has the night off. The holiday season is often thought of as a time filled with joy, family, and of course, presents. But for many, the holiday season is just another reminder of what they don't have. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Rachel Cox Rosen is live at Aid For Friends to tell us how they and a group called the Acorn Fund are helping families in need. Rachel. Deanne, the Acorn Fund is a group that helps people who have fallen on hard times get back to work. Their focus is on helping people who have already done the hard work in finding a job, but just need one more extra piece of help, like getting a pair of work boots that may be hard to afford. The Acorn Fund is also doing a Christmas fundraiser for those staying at Aid for Friends and for people who just recently left the shelter. The goal of the fundraiser is to provide Christmas gifts for these families so that they can continue to pay for other necessities. Diana Target used to stay at Aid for Friends. The Acorn Fund helped her secure a job at Golden Corral, and now they're helping her get her three kids presents. This year they're going to have an amazing Christmas because of it, and they're going to have more than just one gift. And that, to me, is, is priceless. I can't... I, I can't thank people enough. I can't... I mean, they literally just... Everything. I mean, it's changed my life. It's changed my kids' life. The Acorn Fund has already committed to helping 15 families, and they want to help more, but they need donations. If you'd like to help, you can either donate on Aid for Friends website, aidforfriendspocatello.com, and specify that it's for the Acorn Fund's Christmas fundraiser, or you can sign up to help a family at bit.ly slash AFF sub for Santa 2017. If you sign up to sponsor a family, you can deliver the items here to Aid for Friends. They ask that the items be new and not used. Tonight at 10, we'll tell you more about Diana's story, and we'll tell you how Aid for Friends and the Acorn Fund helped her escape homelessness. Reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Rachel Cox-Rosen. Deanne, back to you. Thank you, Rachel.